The crew has a lot of experience with LS engine swaps. We've done all the way up to an LSA, some LS7s and 9s. So this engine was totally in our realm of um, experience and making it a daily driver is seems different than what we normally do, but it is our goal, even in the older cars that aren't driven very often, to make them reliable for all of our customers. We're trying to locate the options for the ECMs. There's two of them, one for the transmission and also one for the engine. Uh, what we've come up with is uh, on the bottom of the battery tray there happens to be some space so if we flip this over, um, we mounted the engine ECM on the bottom of the battery tray and then your wires will come out the side and run along the engine there. Keeping tabs on a modern engine is a little different than old style gauges so we elected to use a system from Dakota Digital which has an interface box that plugs in to the ECM of our electronic management system so that it gets a signal from the ECM and displays all kinds of different information about what's happening under the hood. Dakota Digital makes an interface that you can wire into the bus network which simplifies wiring altogether and it removes redundancies. A lot of times in the past, or if you use an aftermarket controller, you gotta have a sensor for the ECM and a sensor for the gauge for things like your temperature, oil pressure, things you may wanna add. Um, sometimes we get oil temperature boost on supercharged applications. A lot of that stuff is available right on the network, so it makes it much simpler. The other nice feature about the Dakota Digital System is that it's designed for this dashboard, so you don't have to modify anything to install it, and it looks like it belongs. When you're using a GM factory type engine control system, uh, it is based on mass air, which means there's a sensor in the intake tube that measures the volume of air coming into the engine for the base fuel calculation. So we custom made a cold air intake for this truck. It comes right up the front of the throttle body, goes off to the left, and then the air filters over by the left fender. That keeps a lot of the airflow out of most of the engine compartment heat. Uh, there's a little bit of cool air that leaks around the headlights and grill over there. And uh, having a straight section of tube for the mass airflow sensor makes it easy to fine tune the calibration if necessary. Uh, if you follow the instructions from GM, usually you don't have to do much uh, to adjust the calibration because they've got it pretty well figured out. There really wasn't many modifications required to get this engine running in the truck outside of the bolt-on stuff like the engine mounts and uh, the cooling system and the exhaust. It's not like we had to cut the frame and weld up brackets or do anything like that. Uh, Holly makes it real easy with the variety of LS engine swap parts available now that you can drop one of these engines and do almost anything that came with a V8 originally or you can convert four or six cylinder cars too. Most of the time we spent on calibrating was uh, with the transmission tune, uh, adjusting the shift points, tailoring it to how the motor performed and the weight of the truck and what worked best. Uh, we did do a little bit on the GM tune. We turned the fans on a little sooner um, just to help keep up with the air conditioning. And uh, other than that, the mass air calibration was spot on and uh, everything else about the truck worked great. I mentioned earlier about details. Um, going through each wire and each hose, you make sure nothing's going to get tangled up in the belts or um, each wire is all soldered. There's no crimp connectors or anything like that in any of our systems. All the way down to the wrinkle finish on the air intake tube to match the, the intake manifold. Uh, it, it runs really well. Um, we didn't run on the dyno to, to verify the power, but even with the 308 gear that the owner requested for fuel economy and highway cruising, it's no effort at all to light the tires up with this. Uh, it's more than capable of towing or hauling, you know, doing everything that a truck's supposed to do.